the draft finally fired. Yeah, Dargan's pretty spicy. Do they have the uh, combo in the cube? This is Pioneer, right? So we need to get Devoted Druid and Walking Ballista and uh, Vizier of Remedies. Not in the cube. Am I, th am I thinking of the wrong format? Isn't that Pioneer? All right, fine, I'll take the dragon, but I'm not gonna go mono red this time. Mono red dragons, that is. Weep, weep, weep. Mm, no. Yeah, this witch is nuts. I mean, this is a cube draft, so I don't know how much it's gonna be uh, relevant here as opposed to just regular draft where it's insane. But I do love an is it charm. It's true. Yeah, Kogla's a chonker. How many Strixhaven cards? It looks like they've put a lot in. All right, I'll take the charm. We'll see what happens. Oh no! Third dragon! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I kind of want to take Mentor now too. This has to be nuts here, right? Just a better, a better witch. Uh, we'll see what happens. See chat, there wasn't even a fourth dragon. It didn't matter. Easy clap, huh? Oh yeah? Nice. Nope. 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 Later. Maybe, could be, who knows? Who knows? All right, we got the Triome here. Does it have a dragon in the art? Or is that just some random bird? I kinda wanna just take the farmland. Ooh, Clarion Spirit? Essence Scatter, yeah, Essence Scatter could be good here too. Yeah, we can maybe go a more controlly. Take like a settle the wreckage now, get them. I should have read, is, there's an article, right? There's like a article on what you're supposed to draft in this format. What were the archetypes? Mamobe or Mamob. Hey, thank you for that three months of tier one. Is there an actually, or is there an actual dragon deck? No, don't lie to me. Oh, there's Golos, though. Omnath, Nivmizit, Bring the Light, Golos. Oh, chat! Felidar Retreat. Settle the wreckage yourself. Oh. What combo? Oh my god. You make cats, then you eat the cats, and then the cats give you more cats when you eat the cats. It's perfection, really. We can also turn our monks into cats, that's right. Everything is a cat. Uh, charter course? Counter target spell and controller pays X. Could take counter. Well, okay, I'll take I'll take some more counter magic. Roast or a castle vantri <clears throat> vantress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probs. No, Freya, no! Which wheel? Let's just take another land. <laughs> Muted in time, so I didn't blow out your eardrums with a sneeze. You're welcome. Hmm. More tokens? 
more Jeskai token themes. There are so many enchantment removal spells in this format, it has seemed. Nice, got the farmland too. <clears throat> okay. This just looks good because I have all the fixing for it already. Although, I would not be surprised if I just end up cutting the red and playing blue-white. Are there any... In Pioneer, is there... Is Echo in this? We have a lot of good choices here. Midnight Clock is not both players, though. Yeah, Commit to Memory. Is Commit to Memory in this? Shinji Guy, thank you for the three month sub. And Break1289, thank you for the six months. Commit to Memory is interesting, interesting, interesting. Eh, I mean, that's kind of more cute than anything else, but. I'll just take the Narset. Castle Ardenvale, Silumgar. I think we're just cutting red. I mean, I first picked the dragon and then took the charm, what, second? But might just be doing blue-white stuff. Token control. Oh, there you go. Collective Defiance works. Makes them, makes them discard their hand and then draw that many. Some of them guys got to be nuts here, though, right? Oh, no. Am I turning into the Esper player? Oh, God. That seems good enough to take, though. Now we take a Shatter. Over Sensor. Dwari. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with Sensor. I don't need the Wrath. Uh, yes, I do. What do you mean? Look, I just picked up another dragon for you. I took out one dragon for another dragon. I'm really tempted to take Omnath, but that might wheel, and it's a goddamn epiphany. Where are my mana rocks? Hostage Taker, Reborn, Apparition. All pretty good here. I don't know if I'm running the Dragon Lord, though. We'll see. We probably still just take the Midnight Clock, but again, it doesn't really do anything with Narset. Apparently, I got some kind of mail from Watsi. It is a little rival league sticker or Velcro thingy. I think I already had one of these. Maybe it said 2021 on it or 2020 on it. Now it says 2021. Damn, really solid pack here for us. Bunch of good blue white cards. Uh, I did take the Shatter. Maybe I don't need the Doom Scar. Oh no, another dragon! <laughs> kind of like Blink here. Another? Oh, we can be the Taking Turn deck? We have Epiphany and now part the Water Veil? Easy. Or another dragon. There must be like 10 dragons in this cube. Seems like it anyways. I don't think we've seen too many Planeswalkers in the queue. We've seen some Gideon. We've seen two Gideons. What else? Nissa, Narset. Yeah, a bunch of Chandras. Good wheels. Good wheels indeed. Let's take another flashy flash card here. 
I was also getting hooked up last draft. It's, it's just that... Um, it's a new format, so people don't know the established archetypes. Uh, another castle? Quicken Wrath? Quicken Time Walk? I don't think this is the Gideon we were hoping for. I'll take Sensor over Dwari. Like the cycling a little bit more. All right, another Wrath. Actually, we have two Awakened cards now, don't we? We might run Ingenuity. Could run Quarantine Field too. Approach of the Second Sun. <gasps> All right. I found my deck. We're cutting Felidar Retreat. Teferi. Hollowed Fountain. Typhoon. Yikes. Is it crazy just to take Fountain here? Taking it. It's the perfect land. It's only crazy to take it if you're bad. Bronze to Mythic. How many drafts did it take him to do it? <laughs> Took me 18 drafts to go from Bronze to Mythic. Man, another really good pack here for us. I think I'm just taking a third Wrath. Eh, Jace. Jace is kind of like a third Wrath anyways. Also, I... I actually already have... <gasps> three Wraths. Oh, baby. Got the combo. Oh, ECD. Uh, yeah, ECD's. Actually, there aren't that many things it gets back for me, but. Whatever. Fantastic. How many enchantments do I have for Archon versus just taking Gear Hulk or Port Town? We have the ECD I just took. All right. This does seem good, though. And we have the commit to memory with it. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm taking the Gear Hulk. The Pioneer. Is Mentor even that great? If I don't need to Wrath. Jeez. <laughs> it's so hard for me to pass duels. <laughs> I mean, I still need playables, but <laughs> how can you not take the fixing, Kenji? Can't lose the game. Another Wrath. Yorian. I think I kind of like Gideon or Dig. I'm going to take Gid. <laughs> now I just need the Pact of Negation, and we have, like, actual, uh, not Pioneer, Historic. But I have taken the shark typhoon? No. <laughs> look at his little head popping out of frame every time. It just gets me. <laughs> look, at his, look at his forehead. Just boop. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it's so funny. Uh... <laughs> Strategic planning. That's not bad when I'm digging for approach. Yeah, but Narset is not as pronounced as Gideon is. Gideon, Gideon's got that hairline. Ugh, I'm finally taking a white 2-drop after all these blue ones. Rip. That's probably better than Settle. Hey, another land! Whoop, whoop! My mana is nuts! Jeez. I don't have enough enchantments for the Archon. There was an Omen of the Sea, I recall, passing. But that was like pack one. Oh, well. <laughs> Speak of the Devil. That's probably worth running over, what, Anticipate or something. No, uh, I mean, all those all those blue cards that dig are just so good for approach, though. I, I, 
I'm gonna cut the baffling end. I have a couple wraths anyway, so we can always board it in if necessary. I wonder if planner outburst is worse than settle or something else. I mean, the apparition can hit pesky enchantments or artifacts. I don't know how many of them are in. But I don't mind cutting the outburst and running the settle instead. Because it is better with the gear hulk, like you said. All right, let's just add lands and go. 5-5. Five, five. Done. 5-5, five, five, ship it, baby. Doo -doo. Green. One drop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope being on the draw doesn't kill me here. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Y'all got any of them caskets? No? Okay. Hmm. Jaspera Sentinel. There's probably merit to running out the Narset and digging. It should probably gain me a quite a bit of life. But, yeah, I mean, they're missing land drops. We get to Wrath and then ambush the token with the Avacyn on a future turn. Uh, I'm debating if I want to chump here. It's probably just too obvious, right? But it does save two damage, which might be even more relevant than giving them a little bit of info. I guess they don't even care. They're just like, yeah, I can't beat it anyways. All right. Here we go. Easy clap. Just gonna pass here. Oh no, no. Voice of Resurgence is, is only ever a two two. Nice, okay. Now we should be sitting pretty Gucci. Hello. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna attack into like sack of whatever blessed alliance card. I'm not killing them with damage. Well, maybe I am if I'm taking a bunch of turns, but I'd rather win with this. <laughs> Rude. They can't kill the Narset though, which is nice. Tick tock, OP. Tickety tock. Oh, Chad. I mean, I can bounce the Gideon. I can also bounce the Conclave Tribunal if I really need to. What? Blue? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold it up. It, whatever it is. If you have it, hold it up. I see. They're just playing that for the uh, increase. Cost. Wow. 
Bow. Bow. Imagine not even taking an extra turn because you don't need to. Big yikes. I might cut this on the draw, especially when they also have a uh, voice. Is it a keep chat? Is my hand good? Mm, it's probably fine. I've got both colors. I've got a shatter on four. I mean, I have the Gear Hulk commit to memory combo, so. Or can I not just instantly keep it? Don't think we need to anticipate. We have our fourth land, we have both colors, two of each. So let's just get the epiphany online. Oh, just don't Gideon, please. <sighs> Ooh. It's kind of annoying too, but <sighs> manageable. That's a problem. <sighs> if they pressure me too much, we could just lose to the district since... A lot harder for me to interact with that one. Fortunately, it's not the, what, Crawling Barons or whatever it's called. So it's never larger than a 3-3, three, three, but... Point stands. I guess I'll just play it safe. No mana tie than this, right? Oh, do they have an Avacyn? Oh, baby! 4, 8, 12, maybe 15? Okay, this is gonna hurt. In fact, they should 100% hit me for another 3 with, like, the District, right? Because then I just die to it the following turn. Oh, Jesus. 4, 8, 12, 15. Alright, you got me. Yikes. Oh, okay. Let me run it back. Maybe this Archon was good enough by itself. What a beating. It's too bad we didn't have this one. Wamp wamp. Well, I don't think they had counters, or I don't think they have counters. I'd be surprised if they did. Ooh, TikTok. Man, if we get to scatter a two drop clock into commit. Easy clap. New plan. Pass the ball to Monastery Mentor. New plan, get the ball to the Mentor. Now we draw like strategic planning or anticipate here. It'd be nuts. Yield, 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 yield. I am the team. Trustani. Hmm. Yeah, my hand's kind of awkward. I don't know. What are we hoping to draw here? <clears throat> don't think we're going to be firing off commit quite yet. Yeah, it's got to be one of the better land draws. 
the hell is this? Is there Elishnorn in this? Oh. I see. Sure. Make a token or level up the clock. Oh, at least no one's probably not even in it. Yeah, maybe. Wrath seems the move. Wrath is a losing play. Pesky uh, keyword. Now, I might be wrathing next turn, especially if I can also hold up Settle by drawing a land. We'll see. If they don't play Gideon, then we'll assume they have the Avacyn in hand. No! They can blow up the clock! My game plan. Damn you. Damn you, clock blower upper. Sadly, I have to draw them a card here. And they still have a Gideon in their hand, so... I mean... Narset, Anticipate. Um, strategic Planning, those are our like best draws. I do have the castle, though, to make some chumpers. It's not bad. That's actually fantastic, too. Should be three or four away now. We don't want a memory, because that does shuffle everything. I'll settle for a little bit of wreckage. That's fine. Hey. <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> they did emblem. Uh, it's actually super annoying. I don't want to commit it yet, I don't think. You can't lose, opponents can't win. So, Oh, they have the Conclave Tribunal. Ah. Oh, bad. That's bad. That's really bad for me. I don't know if I have an option. This is so awful. Yikes. Ugh. I mean, I have a couple time walks I can draw, which might be good enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, I need to draw something to interact because they have a lot of cards that will just kill me next turn. It was like a gain four. Sure, oh, that doesn't matter, whatever. Okay. So even if they redraw their Tristani, they don't hit me for 11, at least. But if they can add four damage, I obviously die. 
Ooh, that gives haste, right? No, it makes a... I doubt they can do it this turn. It's way too much mana. Why not exile the voice? That wasn't a legal play. Uh-oh. Oh, they didn't animate Gideon! Well, it, it probably didn't matter anyways, because it's a two-turn clock regardless, but... Just means they don't. They didn't have lethal there. I'm assuming it's going to be a two-turn clock regardless. So they just passed. Here we go! Here we go, baby! It's time to do 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 We get to dig real deep. <laughs> and we get to do it again. <sighs> so, we know they have flash flyers in their deck though. At least at least one. It's probably just better off looking for a uh, bounce. That also, uh, well, actually, one, two, th three, four, five. I'm one mana short because I don't have an untapped land here. So I guess I should actually grab Gideon. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's attack first and see if they have their Avacyn. I could cast Approach to gain 7 life. I wouldn't win the game. Alright, looks like they don't have Avacyn, so that's probably GG. Brontodon... Oh, Reach! <laughs> oh, it has Reach! L O L Kappa. All right, just draw me my goddamn bounce spell. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh wait. Oh yeah. No, no, no. That's not. That's not casket. They don't get the creature back if they blow it up. Whew. That would have been a huge mistake. Uh. Bingo, bango, a bongo, baby. Logal six. Thanks for the seventeen month sub ends. We've got all the cards that want to draw commit to memory. <sighs> I could see pitching the Gear Hulk there, but. Probably don't need to. Definitely do not need a five drop. Overgrown tumage. What? Y'all remember this? Y'all remember green black explore decks? Been a hot minute. Man, the dream scenario here is that we get to, um, like, end of turn, loot away, commit to memory after playing Narset, and then gear hulking immediately. <laughs> they are. They are actually on. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, it's busted. Oh my god. Put it in the graveyard. That's cheating. Put it put it in the graveyard right now. It's cheat card. No. What a cheat. 
big cheat. Somehow I need to get... Okay, strategic planning, I guess, is what I want to draw. I don't have a counter for that. <laughs> no! We had the plan! It was all there! It was all there! I mean, I guess I can commit the Kolagons command. Do I want to pitch my Gear Hulk now? I guess. Uh, oh well. Yeah, Gear Hulk sees the commit, but you can cast it as memory. Pretty hard for them not to just fire off Kolagon's command here, I imagine. Turns out Sensor would have gotten them since they didn't play their land first. Perfect. That is B E A U Tiffle, baby. Alright, so hopefully they just play some random creature this turn. Uh are there draw sevens in this? Surprise! Bam! Now you see me, now you don't. Probably should have. Well, this draw seven doesn't affect them with the Narset. What does this read? Oh, okay. Until my next turn. My next turn is going to be immediate. <laughs> Sadly, that exiles itself, but... Oh my gosh, Big Kitty Fan, 90 months sub! Holy moly. All right. Now I need to dump my hand before this clock pops off. What's up, knock, knock, knock? Thanks for the 15 month sub. This is five. Okay. We did it, chat. We narset into draw seven. And by golly, did it feel great! Big kitty fan though, 90 months. It is a long time. Thank you, my friend. Hearts and kisses to you. I should probably just take out this clash of wills for the baffling end. Yeah, taking extra turns. Kind of strong, turns out. Uh, ooh, uh, ee, uh, yes, quite. When in doubt, you just give them the carrots, chat. Seems fine. What's up, Big T Rev? Thank you for the 16 month sub. Ugh. <sighs> Man, those creatures are so bad to exile, but I guess it's probably worth it just for curve purposes. We know they have a Kolagon's Command in their deck, but... 
our game plan is just to prevent damage for as long as we can and then eventually grind them out, you know? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a swell time on this April 28th. Palladium Mirror. See, that's a card I kind of wanted to... Uh... Oh, do I just blink that? Honestly? Yeah. I think I do. Setting them back two mana and then I can like commit it next turn if they just replay it again seems fine. Now the question is, do I want to do it after they draw or before they draw? It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll do it after they draw. So they'll be able to use it for instant speed shenanigans, but... Can't imagine there are too many things that punish me here for doing this. Now we get to go Clock into Gideon. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Oh, they they drew their Grizzly Salvation. Ha ha ha. Or Salvage, whatever. Oh man, they can Gurmog me. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna Gurmog? Nice. Alright. Hmm? I think they're just being friendly. Father says no. No to you, fishy fish. Uh oh, some kind of some kind of big spell here. Some kind of X spell. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Linguini Genie! Thank you for the 21 month sub in! I don't think we need to fire off the memory until uh, it's absolutely necessary to. Are they gonna kill my clock? I would imagine they just uptick for now. The clock's pretty far away. I guess it takes me off of six mana. Maybe they do that. Yeah, either way, they get some amount of immediate value, so. The good news for me here is that uh, by doing this, we get to chonker. We can talk about this. I'm not going to jam it too much, probably not. It's got to be like Vintage Cube for me to want to do nothing else. No talk, only smash! Sorry, OP. Now maybe if I draw a Narset, then we're, then we're talking. Ooh. You know, that also gives me a little bit of uh, reason to fire off the, the memory. Fire it off on their end of turn, and we have double time walk in the deck, so could just win that way. Not only can you not deal any damage, if you even would do damage, it'd be less. Look at this. All right, we're firing off the Gear Hulk. I can't lose if I don't, but I really want to just hit a time walk and kill him. <laughs> I probably shouldn't fire this. 
<laughs> or if I do, I should just copy Blink. Eh, never mind. Let's just kill him. <sighs> Let's just put him out of their misery. I realize they can make a 1-1, one, one, but can a 1-1 one, one block three creatures? No, it can't. I can cast every single spell in my deck with this hand. Literally every single spell in my deck is castable, I'm pretty sure. Alright. <clears throat> Just need to draw a land and a wrath. How hard can that be? Woof, Willow Haven. Somebody's cheating. I hope I get to censor something. Oh, Corsair of Crew Fix, because they wanted to play a land off the top if they saw one. Woop, 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 woop. Oh, what the fudge? I have so few bricks in the deck. What a troll. I'm a scab mask. Gibby dibby dee. Ba da ba da ba wee ba 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 da ba. They're going face? I mean, I guess they don't know I have this. All right, I'm gonna take it, bro. That ain't a creature. <gasps> oh, they get punished so hard! Oh my god, give me a land next turn. Sweet mother of Jesus, give me a land. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God, land. Please! God damn it, you beat me! <laughs> Alright, well, they're just casting Vivian next turn, probably. So. Now, they might find something off of Vivian and cast it, but whatever. <sighs> this is the turn, though. This is the turn if they have something. Could get wrecked. Okay, that's not that bad. Let's see, green, red, blue? Yeah, in fact, we're much happier with them casting Golos there than slamming their Viv. Damn, dude. Damn, dude! Homie, please! How can she brick? How can she brick? I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw my other tap land now, aren't I? Do I have a Temple of Enlightenment? Because if I do, I'm gonna draw it next turn. All right, here comes Vivian again. <sighs> Mmm, they can't Golos into Vivian without a, another land here. Or a one-mana creature. No, even a one-mana creature doesn't do it. I mean, this is going to give us some pretty good information, too. Okay, they do have white, so now they're just missing black. Okay. So this is where we're going to start going off. I don't think they shuffled away Vivian. I'm pretty sure it's still in their hand. <sighs> I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to fire off commit to memory here. We can wait, right?
Can't find my lands. Because we want to casket the old growth troll. And then just like kill the Golos if we can. I guess we're just trying to find, I don't even know, Wrath. We just have too many good things to do. Damn, ECD is fantastic here too. <sighs> they can kill the casket with the Vivian to get back their troll, but that's not that bad. Because then Vivian will be on two, which the birds can eat. The issue is here is them, oh, finding a black source. JSOL doesn't hit until nine. What I'm really just looking for is wrath, true wrath. Not one of these fake wraths. All right, well, they can't cast that. True wrath, thank you. I knew somebody was going to say it. Oh, I did miss a card with Gideon, though. Because he's indestructible. There, there's a Gideon that uh, just prevents all damage, but this one is indestructible. Definitely missed a card. Didn't miss damage. I mean, I can ult this next turn. All right, fine. Yeah, I was thinking I don't. we don't need to try to win that way, but it, it's not terrible, too. I know, I have too many good things to do. <laughs> OP no! Oh. That kind of annoying, I guess, for casket purposes, so they're gonna flash in. Hmm. All right, go for a mill win. Nice thing here is that we're still going to eat Kogla because they're going to flash in the Night Speaker and attack with both. And as long as I have Narset on the battlefield, their Hydroid Krasis doesn't do anything. Although, that being said, we almost want them to uh, draw cards with Krasis since Jace, OP, OP, lol. Uh, we have the Can't Lose Emblem with Gideon, and we have the Mill 5 whenever I cast a spell from Jace. So they have a Hydroid Crisis, Incubation Druid, one unknown card. If I memory here, they shuffle their entire graveyard back, so... Could that be worth it though, over just gaining some life? Because if I refuel my hand, if I refuel my hand, I mill them really quickly. So. I think they're over it now. <laughs> It's too late. They had their opportunity. They had that one turn where the troll could have attacked. On turn whatever four. I would have committed it, but they didn't know I had that, right? No, OP! You're supposed to do this on upkeep! Gideon emblem is at, or Gideon activations available. No. Uh. 
All right, they do have a Nissa in there too. So they have some scary planeswalkers. Um, should I bring in the mass nips? That's what I'm thinking too. Get him with the nips. Uh, let's do it. No, quarantine field's bad because they have a bunch of um, ways to kill it. We saw at least, what, two or three. These are fine because they can disrupt their early game plays, but... What's up, original gas face? Thanks for that tier one sub. For example, getting rid of their two mana ramp card. What's up, Bent or Beach Toad? Thanks for that prime sub as well. Sorry I missed you. Hello from YouTube. All right, don't planeswalk me. No planeswalkers, please. Black, green, white, red. They just need blue. I was thinking about not foretelling this because if they play Nissa this turn, they get to kill Gideon, but they didn't play her last turn, so. This is probably fine. Ooh, that's close. That adds two counters. Okay. All right, so Gideon goes down to one. I wrath. I guess I could time walk. Okay, well, in this case, I only need to attack with one birdie. That's good. Uh, if I plan here, I can't hold up both blink and commit. Yeah, let's just pass. Got plenty of stuff to do with our mana at their turn. So we'll chump the Rejuvenator. I'll go ahead and just blink on the uh, token here. I'm tapping out of commit, but I think that's fine. Okay. Easy clap fap. Maybe they just concede. If you're wondering why I didn't fire off the strategic planning, it's because we have approach in our hands, so we want to be able to approach here first and then plan to get closer. Hydroid? Yep, that's fine. Oh, I forgot to clock end of turn, but whatever. We don't win next turn, but we win the turn afterwards. No. Okay, eh, that makes things a little bit more annoying, but I'm at 27. Okay, I'm, I feel like I'm still crushing them, winning very easily right now. Oh wait, just pass here. It was actually a really good thing I didn't level up my clock because if I had, I would shuffle away my uh, approach which is third card down so I just scry two bottom and then win. Hmm? 
I did count. I counted that I'm winning next turn. They have a Golos in their hand, so they can they can play the Golos and activate. Settle the wreckage. Darn. All right, spin that wheel. No place? Uh-oh, what do they have? So, should I play around a counter by topping shatter and then draw and then holding up commit? But I shuffle away my min or I shuffle away my Is there any reason why I would play around them having a counter that seems so weird? I'm not going to. We're just going to draw the... I'm going to draw the suns and go for it. Okay. <laughs> Easy clap! That deck was nice. Nice little time walk control sun deck. All right, let me restart the client real quick.